Videos show a heavy police presence in China's Tiananmen Square amid Beijing's second virus wave. At the same time, the city is being hit by more than just infection. NTD's Tiffany Meyer brings us more. The atmosphere in Beijing is tense. A recent video of Tiananmen Square shows only a handful of tourists, but a large police presence. Some policemen are in plain clothes, and many police vehicles can be seen nearby. Tiananmen Square is located in the center of the Chinese capital and is viewed as a symbol of the communist regime. A Beijing citizen captured the photos and video. He explained that as he entered the square, police scanned his digital health code, a strict software used for virus contact tracing. Only people with a green level health report are allowed to enter Tiananmen Square. But the scanning process wasn't limited to epidemic-related measures. Besides his ID card, he was also required to take every single item out of his pockets for police inspection. They paid extra attention to the books in his bag, examining them closely. He explained that when he looked at the square's main building, three plainclothes policemen standing close to him turned to watch him. Another one was also spotted nearby. He said he didn't understand why there were so many police officers with almost no visitors in the area. Now we turn to Beijing's virus situation. According to an internal document, new makeshift hospitals are scheduled to be built in one of the city's districts. The construction plans reportedly include two makeshift hospitals and a makeshift lab. But strangely, officials in the area have not reported any confirmed virus cases. So far, there's no information about plans for other districts. The report comes after a makeshift virus testing department was reportedly built inside one of Beijing's biggest hospitals earlier this week. A hailstorm in Beijing has sparked internet buzz. Hailstones as big as chicken eggs have been seen falling from the late June sky. Locals were surprised by the hailstone's unusual shape, which some say resemble mini ice sculptures of the CCP virus. One netizen commented online, writing, you have to believe. The Trump administration's criticism of Beijing's politics is growing. White House National Security Advisor Robert O'Brien is adding his voice to the administration's disapproval. He says the Chinese Communist Party's goal is to manipulate the American people and the government, damage its economy and undermine its sovereignty. He made it clear that the CCP's aggressive expansionism is a problem for the entire world due to its communist ideology and, among other things, its crackdown on human rights. According to O'Brien, Americans should be concerned not only for the Chinese people but for themselves because the Communist Party aims to remake the world with its communist ideology. But he added that the days of American naivety regarding the People's Republic of China is over.